Oh, hey, okay. welcome to the fucking vlog. Where are we, dude? We're in Boston. Guess who's here? Cameron. Cameron, how'd you get here to Boston? Let him know. Oh, you have to tell the whole story. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I booked this motherfucker a flight, okay? It was all gonna work out all dandy. Then this thing called no, Milton? Milton no, Hurricane. Right. That fucker Milton, dude. Let me tell you about Milton. He came through and said, fuck your flight back to Tampa, Cam. So Cam called me and he was like, hey dude, well I need to fly out of Chattanooga. And I was like, okay. So I found a flight, ooh, 98 bones. Booked it, guess what, for October 28th. You know, it was supposed to be October 11th. two weeks away. Yeah, it was supposed to be October 11th, so he was going to the airport, dude can't find the boarding pass. And I'm like, why, dude, I booked the flight. And he's like, no you didn't, because it's on the October 28th. So, uh, you tell the rest. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, I get there, and they're like, okay, well, the only flight is from Chattanooga to Charlotte to Philly to Boston, and you have to stay in a hotel overnight. And I was like, oh, great. Um, and so I get to the gate, and the lady comes running up to me, Cameron, 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 we have a flight to Boston for you. Oh, my God, no way. So now we're, we're good as gold, just like just like the original flight. Yep. And then right before, we're, we're, right before we're about to board, um, they're like, we have problems with the plane. The plane needs maintenance. So... Now we're back to square one, and yeah. the Boston flight got. Uh, uh, I missed the Boston, the Charlotte to Boston, yep. so I had to stay in a hotel in yep. Charlotte overnight, and yep. then take the first flight to Boston out of Charlotte yep. in the morning. So now we're here, yep. and we're here. It all worked out though. We're all worked out because we're going to the gym right now. We're going to train hard. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Cam's here. Um, the flight was ninety-eight dollars, and it turned to a thousand and fifty dollars. But let this, <laughs> let this be a lesson that. The story is always worth it. That's fucking abundance, baby. If you told me, Chad, you can tell this story for the rest of your fucking life, and all you need to pay me is a thousand dollars, I'd pay you. That's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs>
love all the little lines that start to come out back there. Yep. The key to a perfect lap pull down is to pretend that Watch you have the Watch the little hits momentum the at the bottom. Dead stop, at the straight bottom. up to the elbows. You just think, like, yes. I have double Ds. You're done. The best contraction. Yeah, definitely. So, this is Cass's last set. We're gonna have fun. There's fun things that I like to do when I train people in person in comparison to when they train so with well. themselves because the value of getting some in-person time with somebody is that they can walk away with a few yeah. technique cues, but actually yeah. most impactfully. They find a little bit more intensity than they maybe had before I fucking see them. Slow down. Yep. We'll come sit right here. Don't let go of the dumbbells. Sit down. I get to start running. I want you to think, instead of leading from your wrist, only leading from the elbows, come so up, excited. pause two Dude, seconds, like, back down, okay? As much high as you can get it, okay? Up, two, and come down. Oh yeah. Another. Yeah. You're gonna keep doing that until you have no range of motion left. Why are you fucking laughing? Focus. Well, how much part Yeah. Give me four more. That works out well. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It'll be a fun little family reunion. Yeah. Come on. All right, back up. One more. One more. Good stuff. We can mess around with fun things like that. You know what I mean? I think that when we when we plan some of your off-season training, like in your zero to one or AR weeks, especially for exercises like delts or like calves. I think we can still build your calves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like the smaller muscle groups that can take more volume um, and can recover faster, like throwing in some length and partial stuff, why not? We'll do it. So stay in that position as you raise, as you raise, as you raise, or raise, and now push through. Good stuff. You feel it? Yeah. You feel it, Mr. Krabs? Very nice. Yeah. Beautiful. With a little bit of, a little bit of extra juice. A little bit. A little bit. Nice. Because it's so easy, right? With lat pull down, like obviously the full stretch is the top and like sometimes so you can get carried away with like as long as I push my head through, but you forget, like there's so much eccentric tension there. Right? Yeah. Right? Good shit. Cass, how do you feel about the booty builder? I hate it. Why do you fucking hate it? Do you feel more quad than you want to? Or no? You don't get much resistance at the top on this. Yeah, yeah, fuck this thing. Fuck the booty build. Yeah. You, you want a fucking booty build? Do it. Do it. Do it the real way. All right. I know every word of this song. Put it on seven. You're like, this sucks. Is this your favorite exercise? Yeah. Just, well, I don't hate it anymore. I love it now. Um, everything about it just fucking sucks. The setup takes way too long. Finding like the right like positioning, like it's either hit or miss for me. Like I either like feel it and get that good engagement, or I just hate it and feel like I just have weight on me for no reason. Um, you started doing sets of 10 to 15 and 15 to 20 as like annoying as that can be. Did you start enjoying it more? Yes, 100%. 100%. This, there's a method to this madness of 10 to 15, 15 to 20. The hip thrust from a hypertrophy standpoint for glutes is good. Absolutely, it is good. But if you're just stacking up a bunch of fucking plates and doing sets of five, like you're not doing the glutes all that much. I also don't feel it. Like yeah. when I like go super heavy, I don't feel it as much. Whereas sometimes I'll actually like be more sore and feel it more when I do less weight because I'm fully able to contract at the top. And then what glute exercises are after this again? Remind me. She it's only week two of this. Um, maybe we straight. Smith's too much squat. This is great. Because by doing the hip thrust before the Smith squat, obviously the Smith's too much squat, you're gonna get some quad. But because her glutes are already a little bit fatigued before she goes in the Smith squat, it is by nature going to make glutes the limiting factor on the sumo squat. Hack for you. Do it. Catch you one. I didn't feel that shit. Good. Yeah. Ah! Woo! Imbalances are normal. Like, I get it. Like, yeah. for me, my left delt likes to do the same thing. Like, my right pec likes to do the same thing. And so, like, just think about that side. Just trust your other side's got it figured out. Yeah, no, that was five minutes. Yeah, good stuff. Have I ever yelled I at you? You can play around with it like you Yeah. Because I know how to give tough love without yelling at you, dude. I 
know. Remember our conversation? I think it also. What was it? Was it April? Like your wingspan. Yeah, right? it was April. You have to remember it's like... a good fucking conversation. I said, hey, dude, I'll get your shit itself. together. Otherwise, if you don't get so, your like, shit together, we're not gonna do this. For me, if but I you got was your shit wide, you're telling me what I need to improve on, but you're also telling me that like I can do this. Right. Well, there's a difference like, between I'm just flat out shaming somebody versus like. Here's where you're falling short, and here's where I know you can exactly. be better because you have already shown me X, Y, and Z. Yeah. So I know it. Some people just don't. Because like, like, you have your fucking blinders on sometimes, and like yeah. sometimes you forget things about yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah, and like you need to remind you. I need to remind you of those things. Yeah, and you do. Yeah. Very well. Spread. Yeah. Yes. yes. The only thing I can have you imagine is just fucking tearing your glutes in half at the bottom and on the way up. Yes, yes, perfect. Aggressive knees out, chest big on the way up. Yes, two more. So like good, and you have more, right? You technically have more, but like. I lose my breath. That's the only reason why I pause. It's not because my body hurts. I, just, I understand. It's my breath control. I understand. And like, we can work on that. But what I'm really bringing out is that yeah. like, you'll do anything to get the fucking rep up. But so like, I don't like care about that. So that last rep, your knees came, right? I don't care how slow the last rep is. I want it to look like your best one. And like, you need to get in the mindset, like, all right, I'm approaching I mean, my last couple reps. Yeah. If I need to slow down even more, I will. If I need to pause even longer, yeah. I, I will. If I need the, if I need to like overexert like my works. technique and like <laughs> over exaggerate good technique, I will. So think about that and your next set will be better. Try and keep that down a little bit longer. Try yeah, it. there you go. Yeah. And pull. Four. No, why do they say last rep, best rep? Last set. Four. Last set equally as good as everything else. Yes. Oh yes. Fucking wonderful. How many reps was that? Beautiful, you got it. So if you want to stretch the absolute shit out of your glutes. Yeah. Deficit Smith so machine. Why are you looking at me like that? Dude? It's beautiful. <laughs> That's how high she is. Which means that she can get this much I more stretch. Like That's a lot, dude. That's like superhuman stretch, okay? So we're getting more of that. On the way down, here's the trick. Here's the trick. You'll, you'll like do another clip that shows this trick on top of this clip while I'm talking, but you'll leave this in because it's funny. No, you won't, it's too much. Instead of like coming back and just like touching your toes, right? She's gonna shoelace it. Yeah, that's true. Cause she can't, you, you can't push off a shoelace, you can't. You can push off a toe, you're gonna want to. But because you remove that completely, you had to put all of your weight in that front leg, did you just fucking fail? Yeah. Why? Um, we are going to do what research tells us to do. Research by who? Oh, length and yes. partials. Oh, fuck yeah. So there's new research out with conclusive studies that length and partials for creature curls and calf raises are actually more hypertrophic. Some half tub range of motion. So fuck around and find out. Okay. We're just gonna fuck around and find Do out. We We're experimenting it? today. I've never done this, huh? Do we overload yeah, it? Yeah, you're gonna go fucking heavy. Everything about this looks wrong. Yeah. I literally don't know if I like it. I don't get as much of like a, yeah, like a I know. top, you know what I mean? See, that's why when I saw that come out, I was just like... That's half the fun of a bicep Half curl. of the fun is just that big squeeze at the top. Mm -hmm. I could see this for calves. I like calves though. Like length and partial calves, but like this just looks not fun. So let this be a lesson that sometimes research is not what you do. Even if there's research on it, sometimes it's not what you do. And sometimes it's okay to like do things differently. I have a hot take. What? That research actually kills your gains because people get so wrapped up in like eking out the extra 5% that science tells them that they don't fucking train hard. Wait, what was that? The extra 5%? Yeah. No, say it again. I just said eating out the extra five percent. No, but say it like you would. Like, say eating it like you mean. Eating out the extra five percent to try and like grow that like you just forget to fucking train hard. Yeah. And like you get so focused on optimizing things that you're just like, just go do it. 
right? Like you're so focused on optimizing your meals to you eat your fucking protein. Balance. Let's get balance. I mean, eat your vegetables, but like, you know what I mean. But I'm saying like research and like actually just fucking like. Oh, for sure. You have to combine the bro science and the research. Like that's the happy medium, you know? I don't want to do this. I am bro science. My name is Chad. <laughs> All right, you ready to do some glutes? Oh, we have doctors. This is where you don't come to play. In here? Yeah. yeah. Pads, put them there and get a little bit more range of motion. Sometimes machines are pretty short. That's not a lot. If you add that, you get like four oh, more yeah. inches. So much. Four more. more inches makes a fucking big difference. So much for each. <laughs> You're fucking welcome. All right. What you're seeing right now, I usually charge $14.99 a month for. This pump is insane. Here's something that I've been incredibly wrong about in my life. Would program glute days and be so anti-abductor and kickback and be like, stop doing fluff shit. Do squats, do hip thrusts, do split squats, do lunges, do the hard shit, do the sumo deadlifts. But more volume, more growth. There's a point where you're stupid about volume and there's a point where you're just not fucking training hard enough. But if you do want glute development and you want to add volume without just super fatiguing your CNS and impacting your recovery negatively, abductor and kickback, they exist for a reason. I used to be so anti-programming, now I program them and athletes are happier. Are you happier doing abductors and kickbacks? Yes or no? Yeah. Are you happier doing yes. them? Are you happier doing yes. them? Conclusive. <laughs>
eat apples and eyeball cider donuts. Look how excited Lisa is. What? I'm so excited. <laughs> this, this is probably oh, the most wait, I need to ATM this. This is probably the most wholesome event that we've ever oh, done in Miyamoto history. Just a bunch of people with cameras in hand who love bodybuilding. We're going to be looking at Olympia updates in the middle of a <laughs> apple village. Oh, bring it home? <laughs> yeah. Fucking happy to be yeah. here, man. Y'all have to be the taste testers of the apples. Yeah, yeah you guys. Like, we want to know Dude, what the difference is. We're going to eat so much fiber, we're going to be farting the whole way home. <laughs> <laughs> Apple guys. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. <Ready? laughs> I'm gonna call my name because it like I feel like if I can get an apple that high, I'm gonna be really satisfied, and it's gonna taste that much better. Too good. Just put that thing on that other branch. Crawl up in there. Get in there, Lewis. Never can really do half of me. Couples just keep going. One more step. One lot for mankind. Get it. Yay! Yay! I'll take a bite. Macintosh is sweeter. Is this like a nice balance? Or? This is a good balance. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tell us more right about on it. Par, right on Tell us more about the. Oh apples. dude, I got. <laughs> I should taste every single one of them. All right, Spartan Macintosh are down. We got ten more. Uh, ten more to go. Uh, <laughs> you think so, I need ten apples so, so before we leave? So where's the break? Like the video, we think I can. I have a serious conversation. There's this thing called childhood trauma. Not that many people address it. I'm gonna be the one to address it. Okay. Listen, I can't eat things without finishing them. Oh, same. Because my parents just like, in my head, yeah. just like, finish food. Yeah. Traumatized. Was so that inspirational? Did anyone get likes? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. My, my. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Macro shot? It's got ears. That's it has ears. <laughs> it looks like Yoda. <laughs> That's very cute. <laughs> that looks like Yoda. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. I'm keeping them all there. This one's the sweetest one. Oh, really? It's sweeter than it's very sweet. It's like almost honey crisp sweet. Uh -huh. Jesus, man. Very red. I think I've ate too many apples. Are hey, your taste buds desensitized? Yeah, this one's just like, you need like a palate cleanser. This one's like this. Hey, chill out. <laughs> what? She said I was gonna shit myself. I already am. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> It's like an apple on steroids. You walked into this. Look at this. Look at the size, size of Caroline's put, head. Put it up next to your head. Yeah, these ones are so big. The size of these. Oh wait, that's a good one to try. Dude. That one's... What? I think that this is just for the vibes. Yeah. Good. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that's the best one, yeah. Quite tart. Better than tart? No, I just don't like it. The, the bigger the better. Yeah. In the wild, taking pictures of what he believes to be is the ultimate apple. <laughs> the ultimate apple was the one that I picked. <laughs> she was the truth, man. <laughs> I just like gravitated towards that apple. And I picked it and I was like, it's not this one, it's the one next to it. <laughs> it taught me a great lesson about life. It's not always the first choice. Most times, it's the second. Many horses, they grow. Yeah. They just like say that's us. They like 
midgets. Do they have like the genetic code of midgets? Like I'm very, I actually don't know how it works. Probably. Valid, right? Yeah. Conclusive.